the comprehensive audit of the Arrive Can application has been released, revealing a litany of failures so profound that they almost transcend belief. This was the vaunted digital gateway touted to streamline our re-entry into Canada amid the global health crisis. Welcome back to Canada Wide News. Your engagement is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing for more content. It genuinely matters. Now let's do this. Initially pegged at a modest $80,000, the project's budget ballooned into a fiscal abyss, an epitome of financial delirium. Far from the promised digital panacea, Arrive Can metamorphosed into an albatross around the neck of travelers and customs alike, exacerbating backlogs and transforming border crossings into exercises in frustration. The app was so riddled with glitches that it became a punchline rather than a tool, compelling thousands to reject it outright. In an almost comical turn, an errant update once ensnared 10,000 unsuspecting travelers in quarantine protocols, a Kafka-esque scenario underscoring the app's ineptitude. However, the Auditor General's hands were tied concerning certain avenues of inquiry with ethical quandaries and internal probes within the Canada Border Services Agency and RCMP involvement, sealing away portions of the story. Yet, what the audit did illuminate paints a damning portrait of administrative chaos. Consider the bafflement 18% of scrutinized contractor invoices were so nebulous that discerning their relevance to arrive can was impossible. The cost of these external resources, an astonishing 38% higher than comparable projects. This debacle was not merely a technological misfire. It symbolizes a greater malaise within the liberal administration, a chronic mismanagement that has been laid bare. While bureaucrats undoubtedly shoulder a portion of the blame, accountability does not end with the civil service. The ministers at the helm of the CBSA and health department, along with the prime minister himself, are mandated to supervise to ensure the machinery of government functions smoothly. Their oversight failed, spectacularly so, this report is not just an indictment of a single failed project, but raises an alarm about systemic inefficiency. When a solitary app can wreak such havoc on the federal ledger and erode public services, one shudders to consider the status of other initiatives under this government. The Trudeau era has been marked by a cascade of spending with diminishing returns, and this audit serves as a stark exposition of why Canadians are receiving less while being asked to shoulder more. The Arrive Can fiasco stands as a testament to an administration seemingly more adept at budgetary escapism than fiscal stewardship. It begs the question, if this is the visible part of the iceberg, what lurks beneath the waterline? As we continue to dissect the layers of this report, join the conversation, share your insights across social platforms, and ensure you're subscribed to our channel for the latest in-depth analyses. Thanks for watching Canada Wide News. Your engagement is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing for more content. It genuinely matters.